Welcome back to NARPM. On this week's episode, we are heading to Pismo Beach, California, where there's a state park that allows you to drive on the beach. Here, you can rent off-road vehicles, including dune buggies, and rip them freely on five and a half miles of open sand. Pismo Beach is about... God, save it, save it, save it. Perfect, okay. Now, Pismo Beach is about three and a half hours from Los Angeles, so to make the road trip a little more interesting, we set up a challenge. My girlfriend Leah and her friend Amanda are coming along with us and we're splitting up into teams. Guys versus girls. Here are the rules. On the drive from Los Angeles to Pismo, each team must complete the following checklist. One, find a Walmart and buy super soakers. This is absolutely essential to the weekend. Two, purchase an outfit for dune buggy driving. Now there are two ways you can go about this. You can go for time and buy the first thing you see and look like an efficient asshole, or you can take your time and look all cute from the passenger seat. Choice is yours. Three, build a sand castle. Now, a few complications here. Beach parking is a nightmare. A couple of grown men playing with beach toys is shady as fuck. Four, get a number from the opposite sex. This is an absolute gimme for the girls. It's a freebie. A couple of girls driving to the beach not getting a number would be a harder challenge. Five, take a picture at the Morton Bay fig tree. Because nature. And lastly, number six, do a good deed. One, one good deed, that's it. Now I understand this is a little open-ended, but we're trying to be decent here, so don't be a dick. The first team to the hotel in Pismo with a completed checklist wins. Now here's the kicker, the winning team gets to drive the dune buggies. There is not a chance in hell Zach and I are gonna make a weekend trip out to Pismo, throw down for some dune buggies just so the girls can drive while we sit shotgun. I would rather shoot myself with one. So there's a lot more than just our pride at stake here. Game on, ladies. To ensure a win, Zach and I have devised an extremely complex strategy. Knock out the sand castle, then drive really fast. We have a plan. Our plan is beating the boys. <laughs> and we're off. We're gonna fucking kill them. Hey! We just started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build a sand castle. Get this out of the way. They're not doing this right off the bat. They're fucking losing. So I'm pretty sure the boys just went to the beach because they went a different way than us. They must not have brains. You have brains? No, this is just all just piss. <laughs> Kid piss. This is all like homeless person urine. <laughs> <laughs> Bum piss. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning and there's no traffic on the PCH right now, so they're gonna go to the beach and do the little sand castle thing. You know what? <laughs> Bum piss really holds a castle together. So stupid. And then they're gonna get stuck in traffic like fucking idiots. Haha. <laughs> 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 Bingo! Sandcastle right there, look. Four pillars like we said, walls connecting, a moat, and two extra pillars and a fucking entrance. Just so we know we mean business. All right, now we gotta take a picture of it, right? Yeah. First one down, sandcastle, let's go. With the sandcastle built, 50% of our plan was going 100% according to plan. This is us being fucked in traffic. And our plan worked. They're stuck in traffic like 20 minutes behind us. Shouldn't be so stupid. What's the saying? Failing to plan means planning to fail. We're going to attempt to get outfits. Uh, I'm gonna go find whatever the weirdest shit in here is. Okay. We have socks. We have socks, we have shorts, we have wrist cuffs. The girls are spending way too much time in everything they're doing, guaranteed. I really wonder what their strategy is. There's way too many good things in here. Yeah, those are the most what amazing size are these? comfy pants ever. I gave my credit card, and that was pure sabotage. Because all they're gonna do is shop. I don't know if we'll make it out of here in time to win, but shit. <laughs> you're gonna get distracted, and then we're gonna drive, and then we're gonna win. Got our super soakers. We just um, came up with the best sabotage idea ever. We're gonna go hide the rest of the super soakers and sabotage the game. This is the only Walmart on the way, I'm pretty sure. There are literally four Walmarts within five miles of that Walmart. We're smarter. Sorry. Uh, 
Now we're stopping at Walmart to kill some birds. Two of them, with one stone. Our bird killing stone. ACDC though. These should come with the ACDC shirt, like in a fucking twin pack. We got the weapons and some bonus loot. The Morton Bay Big Tree. Oh my god, we should get some pictures. All right, we're at Santa Barbara, rolling up to the visitor center to get what? The number from the opposite sex. What was your name? My name's Sharon. I'm, Sharon. Sharon. I'm Zach. This is Mike. Would you say you're pretty familiar with like stuff around here? Yeah. Uh, hmm. Now at this point, we called upon Zach's shaman-like cougar whispering ability and threw him in the game. Well, uh, how about you give me your number and then you can show us around Santa Barbara. Many things I really didn't know about Santa Barbara. All right, thank you. Thanks so much. Savage. Get a number from the opposite sex. We did. We got Sharon's number. Shook it. All of our tasks are done. I got a guy's phone number from the store, and we built a sandcastle, and we did a good deed all at the same stop. Yeah, more like you lured a poor kid into the friend zone and then pawned your trash off on some toddlers. Well played, ladies. We finished them incredibly efficiently. No traffic right now, we're good. Next stop, the Morton Bay fig tree, which turned out to be the tree from Avatar that they all bang under. Then we showed our appreciation for nature. The only way we know how. Back in the road. We did get everything. Except for the good deed. Fuck, dude. We, we can still get the good deed. Feeling the pressure, we stop for lunch so we don't miss our anabolic window. There also happens to be a wedding going on at the venue. A fortuitous sign. You know what? Maybe we should do something with the wedding. What, we're gonna give a toast? What, right now? <laughs> we are giving a gift to the bride and groom right here. A gift. Um, what do we write on it? Like, do, can we ask their name? Yeah. Oh, that's you. That's me. Oh, this is, this is perfect. Because I want to give you and your ride again. Yeah. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Man, thank you, guys. Hey, man. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate hey. it, man. Appreciate oh, congratulations. it. congratulations. I'm super, super nervous right now. We have to be so far ahead of them right now, right? Like, there's no way that they could possibly be ahead of us at this point. No, it's 77 miles. 77 miles away. Shit, yeah, we didn't pass them or anything. Which makes me kind of nervous. 11 minutes away from the hotel. All right, people gotta pick it up. They definitely think they're in the, in the lead now. And I, I just hope that they're not. And I can't imagine they would be. Mike sent us a picture of him at the tree, like probably 15 minutes after we left the tree. We don't know if they took it then. We don't know if they took it earlier. We haven't seen them when we're driving. So we're just like, we're just clueless. We need to get a gas station. So the race is on and I just spilled a bunch of fucking gas on my car. <laughs> Come on, this is the slowest pump I've ever seen. Our GPS says that we're two minutes out. There it is, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. We should tell you last minute she's not on the pill. <laughs> <laughs> we're only one mile away, we fucking got this in the bag. There's no way they're ahead of us, they just can't be. Pulling into the hotel right now. Then your destination will be on the left. I cannot fucking wait for Zach to have to sit bitch in the dune buggies and for Mike to have to sit bitch with Yuli. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, if the girls are ahead of us, I'm gonna lose my shit. 3.32 p.m. and we are... 3 oh, there he is! Ah! <laughs> <That's> your first! <laughs> what was that? Can you say that one more time? Winning. <laughs> we got here literally an hour ago. After a crushing victory over the girls, we're doing the responsible thing and going to bed early. Real early. Like 6 a.m. We're playing a game called Titanic. So you take a pint glass and a shot glass and you float the shot glass in it. And then you take turns pouring liquor, or in this case, sake, into the shot glass. And the person who sinks the shot glass into the beer loses and has to drink the whole thing. Titanic! <laughs> 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 Oops. Oops. <laughs> 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 
I think we're causing a scene. I would like to say that the transformation from Titanic 1 to Titanic 4. Titanic was not a sequel. We're going out again. This time, we're going to make Titanic 4. The best franchise of all time. This is normally like a like a four person like a full table game. It, it's a one in four chance you're gonna chug the entire thing. Right now it's just a one in two. Right now it's just one. Baby, I'm balling. I don't think you're supposed to drink soggy like that. No, this is not soggy. That's a Bill Cosmo right there. You don't want to drink that. Driving day. Hey, we just got to Bismo. We headed to the beach, where our spoils of war await us. Two fully prepped dune buggies itching to be thrashed. Axle. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's very obvious. Hey, we got uh, two of these buggies out here. One of them just uh, the tire came off the whole wheel. Oh, I got somebody out. Okay. Thank you. All right, thanks. Bye. Bye. It's cool to be able to rip sweet cars and deserts and, and shit, but it was like I wish the, the road trip almost lasted longer. Like the main reason we went out there was to drive dune buggies, and throughout the road trip. We weren't even thinking about dune buggies. We're like, this is awesome. It wasn't like you were losing a chunk of your day to get to the place you were trying to go. You were enjoying the experience. You were being a part of it instead of just driving right through it. It got a group of people who, who've been friends to go out and experience something that they normally wouldn't. That's pretty much what this show is all about. Go somewhere, experience it. It's a journey. You're on a road trip. You're driving a car. Why the fuck would you take that for granted? Why did you make us buy these super soakers anyway? What are you doing, bro? Uh, uh, throwing out the water gun for the hot tub. <laughs> 